as the attorney, I'm there to be sort of the best friend to my client. I'm there to advise them on the law, but also to help them with the problem solving that goes into resolving a divorce case. Sometimes I have to give a little reality check to my clients, but a lot of times I'm there to really explore options. Having done this many, many times, I know that there's ways to resolve divorce conflict that may be outside of what the law has, what a judge would be able to, to provide to a family. And so we can look for ways to be able to really reach the best resolution on an individual basis. As the attorney, I'm also there to help draw up all of the paperwork that's necessary once we've reached a resolution and to make sure that we can get it through the court process in a simple way. Really there to help the family move on and transition through this difficult time. In 2012, I stopped litigating completely. I converted my entire practice to a problem-solving conflict resolution practice. The reason I did that is because while I have great respect for the legal system in this country, I know that there are better ways to solve family problems. And so I focused on mediation and collaborative law as the main forms of assisting my clients through this most difficult process. I know that collaborative cases resolve in a way that really meets the needs of the family. And I know that with collaborative, the family is able to keep their financial resources confidential, to keep those resources for the family rather than spending a lot on litigation. I know that we're able to resolve cases in a very timely manner, and we're able to really meet the needs of the families and the, the children as well as the individuals that are going through this most difficult time. So I really encourage all of my clients to consider collaborative as a better alternative to litigation. They still have the option to litigate if the collaborative process breaks down, but usually once they're into the process, they realize that this is a real safe environment for them to be able to resolve the issues that are led to the divorce and to be able to move forward in a better way, to co-parent in a better way after the divorce, and to have family relationships that are able to survive this difficult transition.